Chad. Hello. I am almost there to start my video. All right, hello. How's everybody doing? Oh, there's Coach Adam. I tell him, you gotta go do class. You gotta go. Let's see if we can see him. Hey. Hey guys, come on. Is everybody able to hear me okay? Yeah. Awesome. Great. How's everybody doing? Good. Cool. You guys staying busy inside? Are you staying yeah. busy inside? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. Well, we're going to have so much fun today. We're just going to wait for a few, you know, a handful more people to join, and we're going to have a lot of fun. Like, what are you doing? Bye. Oh, not bye. <laughs> not you. <laughs> so, while, if you guys make, I want you guys to make sure you have lots of space in your living room or wherever you're watching it. Make sure you're not going to hit your feet on any hard furniture or knock anything off any shelves. But I'm sure you're used to that. <laughs> <laughs> can you guys? Can you hear us? I can hear you. Oh, there's Adam. Hey guys. Wait. Um, there's another friend. Hi. Okay, go over there. Wait, 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 wait. How many people are you doing this? Wait, 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 wait. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta do our participants. Oh, we shouldn't be muted. Oh, I know why. It's because I've got this. Okay. I can hear you, Malia. Okay. Wait, wait. He's. We can't hear him. Hold on. Be quiet. Do you want to be on Wait, the I can't hear Adam. There, now he can see you. All right, oh, all right. Woo, I can see you guys too. <laughs> Hang on. Oh, we can't see it. Darn it, you guys. Nice. Oh my gosh. All right, we got so many people Why are we here. To work? Kids, I'll start video. There. Okay. Hey. What's up? Okay, move around. Uh-oh, we just lost them. We just lost them. Wait, hurry, it's fine. Okay. All right, yeah, make sure you got a lot of room. We're going to be doing some cartwheels today. Okay, are you guys ready? You guys. Let's try it. I can't hear him, though. Can you guys help me out a little bit? Like, not, you know. Hey, you need to move. I can't. Yeah, I can't. Oh, I need to move. Uh, it's because it's. All right, we're ready. Pretty uh, blessing. We're gonna keep waiting here for a little bit. It's because it's hooked up to the other thing. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. Okay, keep going. It's because it's hooked up to the other video. I can't get the volume right. Guys, I don't know why I can't get it to work. I can't get the volume to work. Okay, so remember also this is going to be recorded. I'll do it again if you want to later. So. I don't know. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> Looks like more people are still showing up. Can they see you? Each it's important he sees you. Okay, I gotta figure out why your volume isn't working. So, hold on. <laughs> I can't figure it out. Is Andy here? <laughs> oh, you're so sweet, honey. All right. Hey, um, we got some why can't I hear him? Nice. All right. We're probably oh, going to be over time, but that doesn't matter. So, we're going to wait for a bunch of people to show 
Can you hear me? I'd be quiet. So while you're there, while you're waiting, while we're starting to, uh, while we're getting ready to begin. Quiet. Okay. All right. So welcome everybody to day one of uh, move, right. jump, spin, and dance. Oh, yeah? So um, make sure everything is clear. You want to make sure you're not going to bump your feet or break anything. And, uh, make sure you're being totally safe and take turns if there's a lot of you. So, all right. The, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing our regular parkour conditioning. We're making sure we're going to be being nice and strong. And we're also going to be working on some uh, acrobatic moves. We're going to learn a cartwheel today and a butterfly kick. If you already know these moves, then practice some more intense variations. I'm going to show you some examples of those right now. And then we're going to do some break dancing and have a dance party with everybody here. So please bear with me. It's the first day. We're going to try to, I'm going to show the, uh, the video of our cartwheels. Our four class right now. Okay, so everybody make sure you can see the video. All right, so here's just a video of some examples of, of cartwheels. So you get a general idea of what we're doing. I want you to notice a few things. Number one is the legs are pretty straight. And you want to keep your legs straight. You want to pretend that you're kicking the sky with each of your legs. That's a butterfly. We're going to learn that as well today. And a bunch of different variations. You can put one hand down. You can put both hands down. You can kick really hard. Keep your hands behind your back. No hands. Really cool stuff. Good. Nice. All right, and I'm going to show you another video really quick to get us really excited. And that video is going to be this one right here. Move your body. It's all about moving your body. Good morning, you guys. Hey, what's Kids are amazing. And what the best part about breaking is you can develop your own style. So the more different it looks, the cooler it's gonna be when you do it in front of your friends, at your school, outside. Anytime you have a disagreement with somebody, you can just dance battle. Easy way to solve your differences. Okay, so one person's gonna go, the next person's gonna go. Warm-ups and our workout. 
All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with some jumping jacks. And we're going to do jumping jacks for 30 seconds. All right. So everybody, make sure you have space. Make sure you're not going to. All right. We'll start with our arms down by our legs. No. And we're going to start our jumping jacks for 30 seconds and jump. Arms up. Good. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get those arms up. 13, 14. I skipped to number 12, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10 more seconds, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, cool. Roll your shoulders out a little bit. All right, so this one you're going to remember from class. If you've never been to my class before, this is called QM, quadrupedal movement. We're going to crawl on the ground on all fours. So right hand moves with the left foot, left hand moves with the right foot. So get on down and we're going to crawl around. Try not to bump into your neighbor. If you do bump, you can laugh and go the other way. QMing. Nice job. We're just going to do this for about 30 seconds as well. It doesn't matter which direction you go. You can be going forwards or backwards or in a circle, whatever you want. Keep it going a little bit longer. Make sure your hands are palms are flat, knees are low to the ground, and we're really just moving around. All right, 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, good. Everybody back up. All right. Roll it out, keep it loose. So the next thing we're gonna do are some Superman calf raises. So you're gonna look like Superman, you're gonna reach your hands all the way up. And here, make sure you can see my feet, we're gonna lift our heels as high as we can. And if you want to, you can do a little jump. But keep your body straight, try to stay in one spot. And we're gonna lift our heels up as high as we can, we might be on the tippy toes. Let's do this for 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one last jump. One. Good job. All right. Roll your shoulders out. Keep it going. All right. So now we're going to practice some real frog jumps. So everybody knows your knees are going to be out nice and wide. Your fingertips are going to reach down the ground. And we're going to reach our hands up. We're going to do a full jump this time. We're going to do five in a row. Ready? Ready? Right, jump. One, two, three, four, and five. Try to touch your ceiling. One more for good luck. Good job. All right. The next thing we're going to do is some leg raises, okay? So I want everybody, you can stand with your hands on your hips. You can have them out wide. Keep your hands nice and relaxed. And we're just going to make sure there's nothing in front of us, and we're going to kick as high as we can with our left leg 20 times. And three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. We're stretching out the back of our legs. So we're going to switch to the other leg now. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10. Nicely done. All right, now we're going to do side to side. We're going to be doing some cartwheels. We want to make sure our legs are nice and flexible. So we're going to take one leg, we're going to kick it way out to the side. 10 times. Two, three, four, five, 
six. We're getting those abs. The sides here, the obliques. Eight, nine, 10. All right, switch okay. legs, switch legs. Try to keep your posture nice and straight up and down. Don't bend over too much. Keep your body straight. Here we go. 10 on the right, 10 on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice, good job, good job, good job. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is some handstands. So, if you don't have, if you don't have a wall, if you have a chair, what you can do is you can squat down on the ground. I'll see if I can turn this a little bit more so you can see me. Okay, you're gonna squat down, back against the chair, just right up to it. You can drop your hands down, and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna reach one foot up and place it on the chair behind us and lift up the other one. So we're fully supporting our hands, our body weight on our hands, we're upside down. And once everybody is upside down, we're gonna sing the A, B, C. Does the window work? Yeah, you can use your window, you can use your bed, you can use a chair, you can use a wall. So I'll just wait a second for everybody to get ready. All right, here we go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my A, B, C's. Next time, won't you sit with me? Slowly bring your feet back down to the ground. You might need to open a window or a door. There's some yard work happening, so I'm going to keep my windows shut. All right, so now we've done our handstands. Yeah, we're starting to get warm now. We're going to do some, some parkour moves because everybody is here for parkour. So the first one we're going to do is some precisions. So you want to make sure that you've got a little bit of room to jump, okay? And what we're working on here with our precisions is we're not trying to do a frog jump when we land. We're trying to keep our arms on the outside and our legs close together. So as we swing our arms back, we swing forward, we're going to land with our legs like one powerful leg. We're going to try to be light on the heels. So just find a little space that you can jump back and forth. So start squatted, arms back, throw your arms forward. Land nice and soft on the toes. Keep your heels up. Okay, we're gonna do that 10 times. We're done one. Here we go. Let's go in two. Up, turn around. Three. Hop, turn around. Four. Hop, turn around. Five. Hop, turn around. Six. Hop, turn around, seven, hop, turn around, eight, hop, turn around, nine, hop, turn around, and ten. Nicely done. If your legs aren't burning, I'm doing really good so far. All right, so we've done some, preci some precisions. The next thing we're going to do is work on our rolls. Okay, so hopefully you've got some space that you can roll around on. What? And what you want to really do is get down flat totally to begin with, and you can roll however you want, okay? As long as your bones aren't bumping the ground, we want to develop a relationship with the earth. We want to love it. We want to accept it when it's coming to us. We don't want to resist it because if it's us against the earth, the earth is going to win. So all we're going to do first, we're going to lay down flat on our back and we're going to start bringing our knees up to our chest, making our back round, so keeping your abs nice and tight. We're just going to keep rolling back like we're, a, I don't know, a bowl 
with a, with, with a, without a flat, a flat bottom. So we're just tipping back and forth, rolling. Good. And now when we roll backwards, we're going to stay on our shoulders, try to balance here, and then roll back forward. So let's do that one more time. We're going to roll back, hold on our shoulders for two, one, roll back down. We're going to keep rolling back down. All right, nice. Hold it, hold, and back forward. Roll it back, hold it, back forward. Okay, so now we're going to get a little bit more into the technical part. This time you're going to have both your legs close together, and we're going to have them go over one shoulder. I'm not going to tell you which shoulder to do because I don't know how much room you've got there or who's going to bump you. So go ahead and roll back and let those knees fall and tip you over across the shoulder. The whole idea is that we don't want to roll on our head, okay? So as we roll, we're gonna, if I'm going to bring my knees over my right shoulder, I want my arms out nice and wide for control. And my Can I do this? head is going to go to my left side. So remember, whatever side your knees go over, your head is going to go to the other side. So practice on the other side now. And the slower you can do this, the better it's going to be. Are going to do this? And we're just Nobody's working on back rolls because that's the ones you have the most control over. If we go forwards, we might lose control. It's hard to spot. We're going to have our body kind of fall over, and we don't want that. We want to be in total control of our rolls. You know, I was thinking the other day, the last time I sat at home watching parkour videos and practicing in my living room, it was about 2007, right before I moved down to Los Angeles to be a Ninja Warrior. So I'm actually having kind of a nostalgic time and being able to share all this with you guys is really, really nice. All right, so now we've done some of those rolls. Looks good. Go ahead and stand up. So now that our core is ready, our legs are nice and strong, we're gonna work on some upper body. Okay, so we're gonna start with some push-ups. And something I want you guys to think about, fingertips should be pointing out the same direction your top of your head. Don't let your hands point towards each other. Keep your thumbs pointed at each other. Keep those hands nice and spread. You want your elbows close to your body for now. So we're gonna do 10 push-ups. We'll do a couple more sets, but first things first, hands spread, elbows to the side. Gonna drop down to the ground. You can do them at your own pace or you can do them with me. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice job, nice job. All right, let the blood move around a little bit. Take some nice deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth. Okay, we're gonna do our next set of push-ups. This one is gonna be a diamond push-up. If these are hard, go back to the normal ones. Try a couple, see how you feel, maybe go back. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna do 10 diamond push-ups. These are gonna work the triceps. Okay, make sure your belly is nice and tight. Here we go, dropping down. Fingertips, index fingers and thumbs are touching. Here we go. 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All the way up. All right. Nice. We're getting strong. We're building our immune system. We're doing it all inside. All right. Shake it out a little bit. Shake it out a little bit. All right. We're going to do one last set of push ups. But this time we are going to have our hands out wide but we wanna make sure our fingertips are still pointing forward and our thumbs are in line. So even though they're gonna be out wide, our hands are still gonna be pointing in the same direction, okay? So here we go, last set of push-ups, here we go. Nice and wide base with the arms, fingers are flat, fingers are spread, palms are flat, here we go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, 
two, and one. All right, cool. Everybody, you've just earned yourself your first water break. You don't need water, that's okay, but go ahead, maybe walk out of the room, walk right back, get some water. If you don't need water, just stay with me. We can sit, dance in one spot. I'm gonna open up a window because it's getting a little hot in here. So I'll give you another minute and a half to get some water. Let your body kind of go back to a normal, active resting spot. All right, and so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get this video ready for the butterfly. We're going to be watching the cartwheel. All right, so we're going to watch a video on how to cartwheel. Um, these videos are made by my friend Daniel Perez, and he has been devoting his life to building a curriculum to teaching exactly this stuff. So when he made it, I bought it, and I have been waiting for years to show it to everybody. So here we go. We're going to watch the first video on how to do a cartwheel. And What's his name? Share computer sound. Okay. Uh, here we go. All right, can everybody see a black screen? Yeah. Okay, here we go. In this video, you'll learn the cartwheel, an extremely versatile grounded setup akin to a side flip with hands. Begin in front side and stagger your stance so that the left leg is in front with the right leg behind. The first thing you'll do is practice transitioning your body weight from back leg to front leg and back again. Next, you'll manipulate your posture by bending at the waist over the standing leg. This allows you to reach the ground with your hands. Once again, you'll transition body weight, taking care to balance over the lead leg as you touch the ground. Next, you'll practice purposely leaning your body weight past your lead leg and towards your hands so that you can practice transitioning your body weight forward and back again. Once you can control your body weight, transitioning forward onto the hands and back again, you'll be ready for the next step. In the short moment while the body weight is transitioned towards the hands, you'll want to switch your leg by kicking backwards from left leg to right leg as you transition your body weight back. Controlling this piece may necessitate repeating the previous step with the right leg. The ability to transition body weight forward onto the hands, switch legs, and control the balance while returning is the primary ingredient which determines the success or failure of the cartwheel. With the balance under control, you can add direction to the move by reaching away from the target, to the left in this case, creating a 90 degree angle to the skill. This angle will gradually be increased over time to reach 180 degrees, which would be a straight line, the true direction of the cartwheel when it's finished. Keep in mind that at any stage in the progression, the key ingredient is to smoothly transition body weight from lead leg to hands to landing leg. If control over the body weight is lost, the result will be an opportunity for a crash. The final stage in learning the cartwheel involves bringing the hands closer to in line with the feet. The closer these three points of balance are to a straight line, the more inverted the technique will become. If you can learn to control the body weight in your cartwheel, you can gradually improve the aesthetic of your technique over time. All right, so that is easy, easy peasy. No. Lemon no. squeezy. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice a few cartwheels. So at your own pace, I want you to think about kicking your leg when you start. You wanna be stretching your legs out, making sure that they're trying, that they're straight. So if you're having problems, remember, always go back to reaching down, kicking a leg up. And then eventually you're gonna switch your legs. Okay, so what we're gonna do as a group is we're gonna practice Five, reaching our hands down to touch the ground, kicking our left leg back. Okay, so we're all start, arms are up. Okay, one leg is out in front. The back leg is gonna come up as the hands go down. We're not gonna do anything fancy yet. Okay, so we're gonna try to just pick up our bottom foot 
just for a second. Okay, let's do 10 of those. It's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And then one last one. Ten. All right. Good job. Now we're going to do it on our left leg. Okay. Make sure if your arms are getting a little bit tired, you don't have to pick up your bottom foot. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing we did last time on the opposite leg, but I'm going to work on the more basic version if people are still having a little problems following along or if they're just not ready yet. Okay. So here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one. Nicely done, everybody. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do that leg switch. We're going to switch our legs when we're in the air. We're going to go up from one foot, and then while we're not completely upside down, but we're going to be a little bit angled in the air with enough time for us to switch our legs. All right. So here we go. We're going to start with our right leg again. We're going to opposite. We're make it opposite. Arms are going to be starting up here for now, or you can have them down low if you're not totally comfortable yet. But the more your arms are up, the more stretching your body is going to get. So here we go. We're going to lift that back leg up, switch our feet, and as our back foot touches, Nine, six, seven, our hands eight. come up. Here we go. We're going to do 20 of these because we're switching. 10 on each side. Good. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Maybe we'll just do 16 of these. 10. 11. 12. Maybe you're doing a handstand and you didn't even know it. 13, 14, two more, 15, and 16. Awesome, everybody. Good job. All right. So now we're going to tie it all together. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a regular cartwheel, and then we're going to do a second cartwheel. But we want to bring our hands close to our feet. And you might have to take turns at doing this. You don't want to bump into each other. So we're going to try to do a regular cartwheel. Oh, I There's not so make sure your fingertips imagine, if you will, the front of you, the back of you. Okay? When your hands are coming down, they're going to point the opposite direction. So if your toes are pointing this way, your fingers are going to point this way as your hands come down to the ground. So don't worry about getting all the way over. All we want to do is worry about getting our hands down by our feet, picking up the back foot, and then switching the feet before we lift up our hands. Okay? Good. So let's do five of these on one side, then we'll do five of them on the other. We want to be really good about body control. Here we go. So five on one side. Hands down, fingers point to our back, switch our feet, arms come up. And once you come up, we're going to go back the other direction. So we're just going to keep reversing this motion. Bring our hands up, bring our hands down, switch the feet, arms come up, switch the feet, arms come up. Try to keep those hands nice and flat. Fingers are spread. Once you start to feel comfortable, then you can start whipping it all over. Yeah, Nicely done, everybody. Oh, yeah, because it went like that. Oh, my God. 
lunge down. If you're having a little bit of trouble, you feel a little uncomfortable getting up high up in the air, you can lunge low on that front leg and then really push with that leg to get you up and over. Yep. A few more of these, let's say three more. Got two. And last one. All right. Okie dokie. All right. The next thing that we're doing is called the butterfly. And this is very, very similar in what you do with your legs. But this time, we're going to be flat in the air. Not like this. We're going to be flat, and our whole body is going to come off the ground. So I'm going to bring this video up here. That's not. That is. All right. So, all right. Uh, here we go. We're going to share the screen. OK, Google, set a timer. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Everybody's Google is about to go off. I know mine just did. All right, here we go. In this video, you'll learn the butterfly, a horizontal airborne trick that can be used to become familiar with inversion. Begin in front side and stagger your stance so that the left leg is in front with the right leg in back. You'll need to pay careful attention to the hip joint. Extending this joint drives the leg backwards, which is the primary motion of the butterfly. To perform this technique, both the right and the left legs will need to be kicked backwards in that order. The butterfly can be thought of as essentially jumping the body weight from the left leg to the right leg while performing this backwards kick. You can practice this exchange by itself at first, and then once comfortable, add in the backwards kick at the same time. This move is the key ingredient that makes the butterfly work, but we'll have to add some inversion. You'll achieve this by bending at the waist to bring the chest down. The left hip joint should be bent to reach a comfortable level of inversion, taking care to maintain body weight over the lead leg even during the switch. Add inversion gradually over time as the move becomes more familiar. Take care not to kick too far backwards as it could result in additional rotation that is unwanted at this time. You should emphasize proper posture and controlling body weight while first learning this move. Note that bending posture forwards adds inversion while leaning body weight forwards will create the opportunity to travel and could result in a crash. Once you can perform the kick and switch motion with a comfortable level of inversion and maintain control over your balance, it's time to add the next piece. Bend at the waist to bring the torso to the left as in a side flip. This should be performed while horizontal to create something called flat spin. In order, you should first bend forward at the waist to add inversion and then bring your head away from the target to the left so that you can flat spin, creating an angle to your technique. Over time, this angle will be gradually expanded by adding more flat spin until the butterfly rotates in such a way that your position is moved forward in a straight line. Finally, you can improve the aesthetic of your technique by arching the back and neck upwards in the middle of the butterfly while performing the kick backwards and switch motion. This should create a U shape to the body while airborne. Avoid losing inversion during this step by making sure the posture is correct before adding the aesthetic. Begin with good control over the kick and switch motion and add the other pieces into the progression one by one over time to become proficient at the butterfly. I just can't do this. This is not working though. I'll do All right, so this is uh, starting to become more advanced, but I believe everybody here can do it. I believe you can do it because it's a very similar trick to what we did for the cartwheel. The only real difference is instead of putting our hands on the ground, we're going to put our hands out to the side. So if our hands go to the ground, our legs go all the way up to the sky, but we want our legs to just go halfway. So our arms are going to go halfway down. Okay. So we're going to reach, we're going to reach from one side, down, not all the way to the ground, but we're going to reach and we're going to be twisting our body so we're almost looking at the leg behind us. Now when that leg comes up, we're just going to switch our feet and move the other leg back. Okay, so from where you are, we're going to keep reversing this motion. So whenever you land, you're going to bring your arms back, forward, switch, and keep pivoting on that back leg. Awesome! I see you guys! 
This is so good. All right, once again, up and down. Yep. And down. Okay, somebody once told me really good, if you can make a circular motion with your head, that's gonna give you more lift. Okay, so we don't wanna to touch our head totally to the ground, but we're gonna bring our head down in a circular motion so we can bring our head and our arms with us. Okay, so we're gonna keep doing this. Let's do six more. I can do it, Papa. Four. Three. Two. And one. Woo! Awesome. Okay. Everybody looks really good. All right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to practice a cartwheel and then a butterfly and then a butterfly into a cartwheel. All right. So I'll show you an example. So I'm going to do, I'm going to start with my cartwheel to a butterfly. Here we go. Cartwheel. My legs land. My hands are already back. They're going to swing. And we've just done our first combo move. Okay. Cartwheel. Yeah. Nice job. Good. Okay. We're going to do this a couple more times. Make sure you're, you're training off. You're taking turns. You're noticing what your, your friend, maybe your family is doing. And think about in your head, like, oh, am I, does that look good? Am I doing that? Maybe what I need, I need to fix it. All right, here we go. We're going to do a couple more. Cartwheel. Butterfly kick. And then back the other way. Cartwheel. Butterfly kick. Good job, you guys. All right, and so remember, the closer your hands are to your feet, the less you're going to travel. So I'll show you an example of a really short cartwheel. Okay? And then the same thing for a nice and compact uh, butterfly. Hands are going to go down right by the feet. Nice and compact. All right. And we have a water break. Yes, it's time for our water break. When you come back, we're going to be break dancing. So you have two minutes for water. Huh. Stay, stay. Stay. All right, so I'm going to get this video ready. Lay down on the floor. Okay, one more minute, we'll start. Everybody, if you need water, you are doing exactly the right thing. Best thing we can do for ourselves is stay healthy, stay strong, drink lots of water, and be positive. Because once this happens, this is, we're all gonna laugh about this. You know how crazy it was when we were all stuck in the house doing fitness videos on live? That was crazy. Everybody say hi, Manny. Hi. 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 All right, so we're going to start this next video here. And this move is the one of the most basic breakdancing moves ever created. If somebody sees you doing this, they're going about they're going to think that you're about to do something crazy. Okay? And what you're doing and, and we're going to be learning lots of crazy stuff, but we're going to first start with move called the up rock okay and some of you some of your parents might recognize the vhs quality of videos of the past so here we go the up rock very simple step one of the up rock from standing position right leg out left arm up so opposite arm. Left leg out, right arm. Goes up. out. Right leg, leg out. Left arm up. Left leg out. Step right arm all up. the way across. Good. Make your body nice and big. All 
right, here we go, step two. Step two from standing position, same as step one, for the forward bounce. Okay. Forward bounce, right leg. Bounce back. Forward bounce, bounce left back. leg. Bounce back. Remember to continue raising opposite arm as the leg you step with. Step three, same as step one and two. From longer strides in your balance, getting more comfortable with the movement. So now we're gonna so do is we're going to listen to some music and we're gonna be dancing for the next few minutes. All right, so I want you to dance the way you normally dance, but I want you to start throwing in this up rock move, okay? So we're gonna start the music here. And it, I, want you to, I want you to really, really get into the dancing. Okay, so I really want you to, nobody's around, nobody can see you, I want you to dance, it's crazy. Okay, so we're going to be practicing the up rock. You guys let me know if it's too loud. Get funky, maybe spin around a little bit. Some air, really jump up, maybe do a spin. You can dance for a couple minutes. Come on, mom, come on, dad, get in here. Start dancing. Nice hops. Keep your body nice and big. Get your face into it. Feel that music. Maybe do some funky. All right, freestyle, break it down. We're gonna learn more moves. Maybe do an aerial or do your butterfly kick. Nice. All right, that's the, that's the up rock. The next move that we're gonna learn is the wave. That's easy, Paisy. All right, so here we go. So our last move that we're gonna learn today and then we're gonna tie everything together. Really, you only want different ones. All right, so this is a wave, and this is one of my favorite dance moves, and I don't think it's ever gonna go out of style. In step one, with right arm extended, then fingers. Knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. Again, bend fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. You might want to say it in your head. Fingers, fingers knuckle, knuckle, wrist, wrist elbow, elbow, shoulders. Again, fingers, knuckle, wrist, elbow, shoulders. Concentrate on each bend of the move. Again, fingers, knuckles, wrist, elbow, shoulder. Okay. 
practice that one and I'm gonna put on another song another so what song. we're gonna be working on is doing the wave we're gonna be practicing pretending that there's energy moving from one part of our body to the other so dance party song two all right so here we go we're gonna play another song we're going to dance together. Okay, feel the beat before you start. Maybe count it out. And then when you feel it, you're armed up. Sometimes it helps to close your eyes, feel moving across your body. It's okay if it doesn't look that good. Keep dancing. My problem is terrible, but I'm having so much. All right, free step foot. Maybe throw the up rocks back in there. Maybe put your arms back and forth. Let's do some combos. All right, get close to those cameras. I want to see you dancing. Nice, <laughs> getting funky. Ooh. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B boy, standing in my B boy stance. The B B B boy stance. The B boy stance. The 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 the. Get your face into it. Make some emotion come out of you. Good. Get funky. All right. Nice work, everybody. All 
All right. So I hope everybody enjoyed it today. I just want to let everybody know that what we've got planned for tomorrow or for Wednesday is we're going to be learning um, another flip move or another upside down moves similar to our cartwheel. We're going to be learning uh, how to do some popping, which is a kind of a robotic move for break dancing. And then we're going to work on gliding, moving around the ground, super, super duper smooth. Okay. Um, but for now, what we're going to do is we're going to do a cool down. Everybody worked really hard. So go ahead. If you want one last sip of water, go ahead and have a sip of water. We're going to start cooling our body down. So as of right now, I want you to start breathing deeply in through your nose and then out through your mouth. In through your nose and out through your mouth. In through the nose, out through the mouth. We'll just make two more of these really deep, relaxing breaths, nice cooling air into the body and back out. Good. In again and back out. All right. So the biggest things that we did today was stretching our hamstrings out maybe more than we're used to. So we're going to start by having our feet close together, arms by our sides, and we're going to bow as far as we can, but I want you to look forward keeping your back nice and straight. And from here, we're just gonna pulse a little bit, a little bit, breathing in and out slowly, but we're pulsing down, really stretching out our hamstrings and our lower back. Good. And keep pulsing till you, can get, till you can go no further and maybe try to grab your toes, your knees, your shins, maybe the back of your thighs and try to pull a little bit and help yourself down. Take one more deep breath in, okay. exhale and pull, 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 pull. Now I want you to squat down, bending your knees, Just breathe all the air out. And then once again, we're gonna breathe in, we're gonna stand up, we're gonna lift all the way up and we're gonna breathe in as much as we can. All right, the whole thing breathe out, arms are gonna be down by our sides. Now we'll take a wide stance with our legs. We have to stay here. Okay, we're gonna reach our arms up. Twist over one leg, point the leg, point the toes of the leg you're over, point it straight in the direction, and then fold over that leg. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Deep breath in, deep breath out. Try to tuck your chin just for a second. Breathe out. Okay, breathe in, bend the front knee, lift your body all the way up, arms are straight up above. Pivot on your heels, twist your toes, and now we're gonna do the same thing. Breathe all the way in, nice and tall. Breathe all the way out as we bend over, trying to straighten that leg. Good job, okay, good. Breathing in, nice and deep, and breathing out. Maybe you can just grab your leg, just your thigh, that's okay. Support yourself on your knees if you need to. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, we're gonna bend over that front leg. All the air is out. We're gonna breathe in. Standing up nice and tall. Hop your feet together. Reaching up nice and high. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to cross one leg over the other while we're standing up. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit and squat like we're doing a classroom sit. Crisscross applesauce. All right, now we're gonna take one foot. Can you guys see me on the ground? No, not really. All right, here we go. All right. Okay, so one leg is out in front. We're gonna bring your other foot in, right in close to your, your hip socket. Pull your toes that are out. I want you to point your toes back towards your face, okay? We're gonna reach our arms all the way up. Bend that knee, but keep pulling your knees up to your face. And now grab the bottom of your foot, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna extend the leg to try to pull us down over that leg. Notice my knee isn't straight because I'm not that flexible yet. And I want to be pushing my hands, I wanna be pulling my body 
out from my hips, stretching our spine. We did a bunch of jumping today, some twisting, so this is really helpful for releasing all that compression on our spine. If you can get that knee to go flat, do so now. Inhale, and we're gonna switch the feet. Okay, nicely done. All right, arms are gonna reach up once again. We're gonna take a nice deep breath. Toes are tucked back towards our face. We're gonna reach our hands over, we grab our foot, okay? Our leg is bent. We're gonna kick that leg straight, and what we're doing is we're stretching our upper body. We're pulling. We're pulling with our hands, and we're trying to kick our leg away while pulling our toes towards our face. Good. So while we're here, deep breaths. In through the nose, out through the mouth. Every time you breathe out, I want you to kick and reach a little farther. Good. If you can get your back knee on the ground, that would be great too. But if you can't, don't worry about it. One last deep breath in, breathe out, fold over, breathe in and release. Okay, good. So the next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna remain sitting for the rest of our cool down. So the next thing we're gonna do is do a quick groin stretch. So this is called the butterfly stretch. Kind of like our butterfly move that we did because we're, we're flying with our wings. Okay, so you're gonna grab your heel, or grab your feet, squeeze your feet together and push down on your knees with your elbows. Good, okay. And let's wiggle back and forth. Some people like to grab their toes. I mean me, I like to grab my toes and pretend I'm in a spaceship and I'm cornering really hard and I'm sitting in my, my cockpit and I'm using my elbows as I do my turns and that helps stretch my, my legs open a little bit and it also gives me a lot more control because if I squeeze my knees up into my elbows, it'll release a lot better too, okay? So we're gonna squeeze, we're gonna rock back and forth left to right, we're steering, we're pod racing. Good job, nice. All right, take a deep breath in. Breathe out, squeeze those knees with the elbows. Flatten it out, all right, breathe in. Now we're gonna bring the knees together one leg will go out while the other leg is going to come over. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to pull our knee up into our chest and we're going to lean back just a little bit. We're trying to stretch our outside of our thigh, our glutes, and, and all that other stuff up in that side of the body. Good job. Pulling that knee to the chest. Good job. Breathing in, breathing out, and squeezing. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. All right, release that leg, switch the legs. Opposite foot bends over the straight leg. We're gonna grab and squeeze. We're gonna say, I love you, leg. I love you. I wish I could squeeze you so tight forever. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Good. Nice squeeze. Inhale in. Exhale. Inhale in. Exhale, last one here, inhale, exhale. All right, both legs are gonna be straight out in front. We have one last cool down stretch and this is going to be uh, kind of an inverted pigeon pose. So you're gonna cross one leg, or one, one ankle over your other knee, wrist above the knee by the thigh and you're gonna make a figure four pattern like this, like an upside down four. And now you, can, you have a few options here. Number one, you can bend that, the, the, the leg that your ankle is resting on, reach between your leg and bend and grab at your knee by the bend there and then sit back and relax. Can you guys all see me? Yeah. Okay, great. So here's another variation that we can do is we can keep, we can point the leg nice and straight and we can grab above and grab that wrist. So if you've got more flexibility where you're looking for a little extra challenge, you can grab up by the foot, you can grab a toe, you can push the knee out while you grab, but most important thing here is that we're breathing nice and deeply. We're cooling our body down. We're relaxing, we're reflecting on the strength that we're getting, the agility that we're building, and the style we're developing all at once. Okay, for the release of this, if you're extended like I am, you're gonna let go of the foot, bend the knee, 
slowly bring it down. If you were already here, now we're gonna bring the foot back down on the ground. We're gonna switch the feet, okay? So push that knee out nice and wide so it's a four. You don't wanna be cross-legged. We wanna have a nice big hole between our legs here that we can reach through and grab the knee in front to squeeze and pull that leg. We're twisting it in such a way that we're opening up our, our muscles and allowing us to be stronger with more range of motion. We wanna be unlimited human beings. Absolute potential. Hmm. Through strength and focus. Okay, you can extend my room. Good. All right, if you wanna try that extended leg, reach all the way up. Grab that foot, stretch it, stretch it, pull it in. Make sure you are breathing nice and deeply. Into the nose, out through the mouth. All right, turn around and start with four. Five. Two more breaths right here. I'm glad we're going to do this. Last one. All right, if you have your leg extended, bend it. If you're here, bring your foot down to the ground, unhook that leg. And now we're gonna lay down nice and flat. So our whole body, as much of our body is touching the ground. We love the earth. The earth does so much for us. We're surrendering to it. Surrender. Surrender to the earth. All right. The earth <laughs> defeated all of us. <laughs> you guys are so funny. All right, we're gonna take three more deep breaths right here, in through the nose, out through the mouth. I want you to put your hands on your belly. I want you to squeeze all the air out of your lungs. Squeeze with your hands. Push, 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 push. Made up. And let your belly rise and your whole body fills with air. And now push that air out through your body. Try to push your belly button to its spine. Get all the air out. <laughs> Inhale. In all the way down to the belly. It fills the belly first, then it fills the ribs. Then it fills the shoulders. Hold it. Squeeze more air in. Hold. Squeeze. Air. Release. Last, last, last one. Push all that air out with your hands. Force your belly button to your spine. And inhale. Deep through the nose, down towards the belly. Get the air down to your knees. That's how deep you should be breathing in. More air in. More air into the lungs, into the upper shoulders. Fill up your mouth. Everything is full. More, more, more. Hold and release. All the air out. And lie motionless here for 10 seconds. Close your eyes. Imagine yourself as a glowing ball of light. Radiating all of the energy that's built up in there right now. All right, deep breath in, we're gonna sit up. And now we are energized, we are healthy, and we are stronger and more resilient than we were an hour ago. So thank you everybody. I will see you all on Wednesday from two to three, and we're gonna be learning new moves. So I hope you're practicing what we learned today. And go show your parents, show them your wave, okay? Show them your up rock. Challenge your parents to a dance battle. I'm sure they would love to show off the moves that they used to do in high school. And yeah, everybody loves a dance battle. So bye. I'm going to hang out on the call for a little bit if anybody wants to ask any questions or. Thank uh, you. You're welcome. So if you have any feedback, stick around. I will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye. 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 Thank you. You're welcome. We had fun. We had fun. What time? Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> when are we on Wednesday's class? What's what's the question about Wednesday's class? What time? What time is? Uh, what time is Ninja on Wednesday? Uh, 
This week, Wednesday is at 2 p.m. Same time, same bad time, same bad place. Thank you. You're Thank you. welcome. Good job, Carson. Thank you, Coach Adam. This was great. Yay! Thank you so much for joining. I'm glad you joined in. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. We're, we're, gonna learning, we're gonna be learning so much more. I'm so happy that you're here. Thank you. Okay, you want to say see you Wednesday? Bye. 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 Stay safe, stay safe, stay safe, happy, stay safe. Bye. Emerson, I want to see your dance moves next time. Nice. Ooh, Jesse, I see it moving. Nice. Woohoo! Yeah. I love it. Show me your moves as you go. I love it. It's so good. And that too, it was hail when. Yeah, it was hailing outside during our class. Yep. Yeah, yeah really, same. really hard, like Crazy snow. Crazy weather. <laughs> I know. It was weird. And now it's all sunny. Uh huh. And, and melted. Okay, bye. Bye. Is there a class tomorrow for the teens? Um, there's no class at the gym for to the teens. No, like online. Oh, the online class? No, we're just doing Monday, Wednesday, and Friday classes right now. Until I get more in shape. I can, I can only do three at a time. And I want to make sure you guys have time to practice your moves. So tomorrow you're going to be practicing, and we're going to be learning a new move. On, we're going to be learning four new moves on Wednesday. So that's going to be eight moves to practice by Thursday. And then Friday, we're going to learn another four moves. Oh, uh, three, I think three moves on Friday because one of our moves is pretty complicated um, and we start going upside down. So, all right, it looks like just about everybody is off the call. So, thank you, everybody, and I will see you on Wednesday.